right. Well, these are, these, I've got two of them, are Flotec Warlock series uh, bypass racing mufflers. And uh, this is what I'm going to use on my Yukon. Um, <clears throat> I wasn't going to get any mufflers, so I was going to use the Flowmasters I already had on there. But um, I already got long tubes. I broke down and bought long tubes. And all the pipe's going to be new. So I decided to look around and see what's out there for mufflers. I wanted to get a cutout because I got long tubes now, so why not put a cutout on it? <clears throat> And uh, I was scrolling through um, and uh, social media, and I saw that Flowmaster has uh, like an F FX series that has cutouts built into it, but they're only for like the new Dodges and new GM trucks. Uh, no universal application or anything. So that got me thinking, is there any mufflers that have cutouts built into it? <clears throat> other than the, that Flowmaster muffler, and I found these, which are the Flotex, and also a set of QTPs. Now, there's a huge price difference. These Flotex are only about 100 bucks. You don't get any cutouts with it, you just get a block-off plate. <clears throat> the QTPs, you do get cutouts with it, but it's like four times the price, three to four times the price of this muffler right here. And I was able to get two of these mufflers and two sets of good cutouts for around the same price as I would have paid for one of the QTP muffler systems. And the QTP muffler systems is just the same thing as this. The only difference is it's stainless steel. If you live in an environment that rusts, you might want to go ahead and pay that extra money and get the stainless steel. I'm not worried about this. Because it does, that stuff doesn't rust down here a lot. The only negative reviews that I have seen on these is that they do kind of rust quick. But I'm going to, probably not immediately, but I will take it back off the truck. Take all the paint off and I got some um, header paint that I'm going to paint it with if, it, if I start seeing some rust. <clears throat> but, <clears throat> the way that these work is there is a pass through right here. And then you can take this cap off and it's straight piped. Or you can put the cap on and it goes through a system and comes out here, which you can see on the picture. <clears throat> now that's pretty much it. I'm going to take this off in a minute. I might as well take it off while I'm talking. But I decided to go ahead and do a video on this because I don't see any videos of these online or any decent pictures of these online. So I wanted to go ahead and get this out there so somebody can see what these mufflers look like because uh like i said i was looking for detailed pictures and all i was seeing was renderings i wasn't seeing any physical pictures so also if you're going to use these get rid of the wing wing nuts and get actual bolts because it's going to mess stuff up now this is just a cap i thought it was straight through but it's not <clears throat> um i thought this was like one of these plates and then another plate on the back side but it's not and uh, as you can see, straight through. And you're probably not going to be able to see. But there's the pass through. I don't know how, what you're going to see. There's the pass through right there. That goes through inside the muffler. Now, if you're going to get electric cutouts with this, you're going to need to cut these bolts off and get extended bolts. And you're going to have to trim off this uh, locking you know, pin. Um, <clears throat> Also, if you're going to use cutouts, just know that you're not going to be able to use a turndown unless you get longer bolts because this will go on there and gives you just enough room to put a bolt on there. But if you have a turndown, you won't be able to fit it on there. So uh, for now, I'm probably going to install the exhaust. Install the cutouts later because I'm going to have to cut these bolts off, get longer bolts and nuts. <coughs> and then I can put my cutouts on there. But, yeah, again, this is just what it looks like. It's louvered on the inside in there. You might be able to see it. But this is just an overview of these mufflers because, again, I haven't seen anybody do a video, detailed video, close up on these things. I see plenty of videos of what they sound like on some vehicles. 
but I haven't seen an actual physical, you know, what the muffler looks like. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, these are the Flotec Warlock mufflers. Um, and I kind of like it that it, it does have a pass-through, so if you wanted to use these mufflers with an electric cutout, you can. Uh, you just have to modify, you have to, you know, again, cut that locking tab off, cut these bolts off, and get longer bolts. That's nothing that bothers me because I can weld and fabricate, so that's nothing. But, um, yeah, just a short overview of these mufflers, and uh, I'll talk to you all later.